Hi everyone, I am here with a Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm so, so tired today. I was waking up every hour last night. I'm really tired. Today we're going to start with Revelation chapter 19. We'll be talking about threefold hallelujah over Babylon's fall. And... The heavenly warrior defeats the beast. Who was the heavenly warrior? And who was the beast? The heavenly warrior? Jesus. The beast? Satan. Alright, so let's get started with Revelation 19. After this, I heard what sounded like the roar of a great multitude in heaven shouting, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God, for true and just are his judgments. He has condemned the great prostitute who corrupted the earth by her adulteries. He has avenged on her the blood of his servants, and again they shouted, Hallelujah! The smoke from her goes up forever and ever. The twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who was seated on the throne, and they cried, Amen, Hallelujah. Then a voice came from the throne, saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, you who fear him, both great and small. Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing waters, and like loud peals of thunder shouting, Hallelujah! For our Lord God Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory. For the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous acts of God's holy people. Then the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. And he added, These are the true words of God. At this I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, Don't do that. I am a fellow servant with you and with your brothers and sisters who hold to the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for it is the spirit of prophecy who bears testimony to Jesus. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse whose rider is called Faithful and True, Jesus. With justice he judges and wages war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and his head on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God. The armies of heaven were following him riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen, white and clean. Coming out of his mouth is a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh he has this name written. King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun who cried in a loud voice to all the birds flying in midair, Come, gather together for the great supper of the Lord, of God. What do you think that means? Listen. So that you may eat the flesh of kings, generals, and the mighty, of horses and their riders in the flesh of all people, free and slave, great and small. Then I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to wage war against the rider on the horse and his army. But the beast was captured 
and with it the false prophet who had performed the signs on its behalf. With these signs he had deluded those who had received the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. The two of them were thrown alive into the fiery lake of burning sulfur. The rest were killed with the sword coming out of the mouth of the rider on the horse and all the birds gorged themselves on their flesh. And that was Revelation 19. All right, now Psalm 147 is today's psalm, and it has 20 verses. All right, let's see here. Okay. Praise the Lord. How good is it to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise Him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of horse, nor his delight in the legs of the warrior. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Extol the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise your God, Zion. He strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your people within you. He grants peace to your borders and satisfies you with the finest of wheat. He sends his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He spreads the snow like wool and scatters the frost like ashes. He hurls down his hell like pebbles. Who can withstand his icy blast? He sends his word and melts them. He stirs up his breezes and the waters flow. He has revealed his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. And that was Psalm 147. We have seven, seven Proverbs today. Proverbs 31, verses 1 through 7, Sayings of King Elimul. The sayings of King Elimul, an inspired utterance his mother taught him. Listen, my son. Listen, son of my womb. Listen, my son, the answer to my prayers. Do not spend your strength on women, your vigor on those who ruin kings. It is not for kings, Liamul. It is not for kings to drink wine, not for rulers to crave beer, lest they drink and forget what has been decreed and deprive all the oppressed of their rights. Let beer be for those who are perishing, wine for those who are in anguish. Let them drink and forget their poverty and remember their misery no more. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading. I hope it touched your hearts. Sherm just got done with this pretty picture of Santa Claus, so I want to show it to you guys. Really cute. I like his I like his outfit. It's really bright red. So here it is. 
Sherm Santa Claus. He's been enjoying coloring lately. I got him a Christmas coloring book before Christmas, and he's still coloring in it. Okay, so let me go over our prayer requests. <clears throat> Sherman Crabtree. I just called the doctor for him. Again, he's not getting any better. He's got a fever again today and a severe headache and his stomach's still messed up, of course. Cindy and Jim Welsh, Rhonda Karshner, Abby Myers, Matthew Simpson, Jimmy Myers. Headaches are not getting any better constantly every day. Dora Carper. Layla and her son Emil, please pray especially for Layla's health right now. My sister Melly, she didn't come today. Um, she says she's going to come tomorrow now, so I'll let you guys know. Tabitha Clary, Randy Post, Jody Mahorder, Judy Thompson, Elizabeth Jeffries, Ray Dunlap, and Kim. They're still saying she tested negative, is testing negative for COVID. But uh, she's still got pneumonia, but they're going to send her home if her fever goes down. And she had lost her taste and smell, too, so I don't know. And her husband had COVID, but they keep saying hers is negative. But still with pneumonia, they're sending her home. April Thacker and family, Penny Cockrell, and Bridget Boggs and family. Penny's got COVID and double pneumonia. Cindy hasn't been able to get a hold of nobody to check on her, so we're not sure if she's in the hospital too or if she's doing better or what. But that was our Bible reading for today, guys. I hope it touched your hearts. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless you.